the top course. In this section, we will illustrate how to complete the top course of blocks. The important elements are gluing or taping the top course, installing a ribbon or lineup rail, interlock protection, beam pockets, sleeves, and inserts, placing rebar, and multi-strap corners. The top course differs from previous courses in that the blocks need to be glued down to the previous course using either low expansion foam or tape on the inside and outside of the joints. Gluing or taping is required to stop the top course from tipping or separating from the course below when the concrete is poured. It also keeps the wall aligned vertically, especially if this course is higher than the scaffolding. Install a 2x4 inch or 2x6 inch ribbon or lineup rail around the outside at or near the top of the wall. Fasten the ribbon rail to the block to every third web with a 3 inch screw. This helps to keep the top of the last course rigid when the concrete is placed and the wall is aligned. Run a string line along the length of each wall on the ribbon rail to check whether the wall is straight or not. Adjust the turnbuckles accordingly. If the building is continuing beyond the basement level using the Advantage ICF systems, protect the interlock from damage by covering it with tape. Any beam pockets, sleeves, or inserts should be installed once the top course has been laid. Install the specified vertical reinforcing steel by sliding it down between the offset lengths of horizontal rebar. This creates a weave effect that enables the horizontal rebar to hold the vertical rebar in place. On walls that are six rows or courses high, it is necessary to tie the corner blocks back to the first full block using the Advantage multi-strap at the middle of the form at each course. On walls higher than six courses, it is necessary to use two multi-straps on the courses below the sixth row.